And now, the best 60-ish seconds of your week. And it's Saturday morning from here in the Big Apple, where the Pennsylvanians have gathered for the annual Pennsylvania Society weekend. A lot of people want to know why it's in New York. Well, a century and a half ago, many Pennsylvanians found themselves displaced to the city of New York, coming up on the Pennsylvania Railroad as the legendary robber barons, if you will, but the captains of industry. And they decided to have a dinner celebrating the fact that they were Pennsylvanians. And through the years, it has become a go-to event for Pennsylvania's business, political, educational, and governmental leaders. And while we're here in New York, a New York congressman gets expelled from the House. The first time in a long, long time that that has happened. And quite bluntly, it was deserved. Look, I'm a Republican. Don't make any bones about that. And I recognize the fact that Republicans need every vote right now because of their very thin margin. But George Santos was an embarrassment. What he had done and allegedly done disqualified him from service in the greatest democratic institution in the history of the world. And as a Brazilian, I'm particularly embarrassed by George Santos, who also hails from my native land. Sadly, there weren't enough Republican votes to expel him, but there were still over a hundred, and that says a lot. Including, by the way, many Pennsylvania representatives. And sadly, this week was notable for the passing of some really great Americans, all of them in their 90s. Well, actually, one of them not in his 90s any longer. Former Secretary of State Henry Kissinger, the last of the Nixon cabinet officers to pass away, died at age 100. Think about that. An amazing life escaping Nazi Germany, coming to the United States, making a career for himself that spanned decades and presidencies, the guy that in many respects opened up China to the West, etc. and somebody I had the opportunity to almost work for uh, in the closing days of his fabulous career, right before I formed Quantum Communications. Henry Kissinger asked me to help him on a soccer project. He's a former college soccer player. He thought maybe I could be helpful there, but he knew a lot more about the game and a lot more about business than did I, and I went on to do other things. But God rest his soul as we also mourn the loss of several others. And we also mourn the passing of two people in their 90s, one in his late 90s and the other in her relatively early 90s, Charlie Munger, business person extraordinaire, partner to Warren Buffett, and one of the really geniuses of world finance, a man who didn't graduate from college and actually had to talk himself into law school. Harvard Law School, by the way, where he graduated magna cum laude and went on to really amazing feats. And finally, Sandra Day O'Connor, the first woman to serve on the United States Supreme Court as an associate justice, nominated, by the way, by Ronald Reagan, the first woman to serve there, who served with great distinction, passed away at 93. May God rest their souls, and may all of us remember the tremendous contributions that each of them made to being Americans. And for now, that is the best 60-ish seconds of your week.